So what we're going to do today is probably the easiest, least expensive barrel feeder um, that I've ever ran across. Works really well, um, super inexpensive, it's going to take us maybe 20 or 30 minutes start to finish to build, so let's get rolling. We don't really need a whole lot of materials for this. We're going to need the plastic barrel. This is going to be the hardest thing for you to get, but honestly, if you live anywhere where there's cattle farms, uh, they're not that tough to get because, in fact, this actually came from a dairy farm. What was in it was uh, some sort of chemical that they use to wash the udders before they milk. Uh, but any, any, any sizable farming operation with cattle probably has a bunch of these lying around because it's what they use to um, you know, treat a lot of their cows. Uh, anything from just washing them down, you know, it might be a, an additive for the feed, whatever it's for. Dairy farms, cattle farms usually have quite a stockpile of these plastic barrels and they'll probably part with them uh, for nothing because they, they don't want to have them sitting around either. And then we're going to need some PVC fittings. Now this happens to be 3 inch PVC because it's a little bit less expensive than 4 or 5 inch PVC. 4 or 5 inch PVC would work just fine. What we got here is a T, 3 inch T. This is a standard clean out screw off top. Now you want to make sure that you get the one that has the male, um, the male end, because this is how we're going to get it through the barrel to start the actual feeder here. And then we just have a 45 with a male on one end and a female on the other. And they're going to go together something like this. I'll show you what I'm going to do with it, but all together this was about 12 bucks. My barrel was free, so I got $12 into this. We're going to need some lumber. 2x4, 2x6, doesn't matter, whatever you've got. If you need to buy some lumber, you're going to up you know, your cost to about $25 because an 8-foot 2x4 treated is you know, $8 to $10. This is untreated lumber because I had some sitting around from the pole barn I just got done building. But if, uh, if I was really going to do this, you know, the best way to make it last, I'd use treated lumber. But I'm not too worried about it because this is going to be in an area where I can easily replace the lumber if I have to. So that's all we need. Here's how we're going to build. So here it is, finished product. A barrel feeder for under 20 bucks. When you put the lid on, one thing you might want to do, if, if you're not real clean on your cuts, which I wasn't the best, and you're worried about water getting in there, all you need is, is a garbage bag that you just stick over the top, and then when you strap it down, it'll help that water run off and you won't get any you know, in, in your feed or your corn or whatever you're feeding. The other thing to note, when you put this uh, PVC um, clean out in the bottom, it's going to stick up off the bottom you know, an inch or two, which means not all of your corn is going to drain out of this barrel. So every once in a while, you want to make sure that you get the feeder empty, rotate out that corn at the bottom so that it's not getting spoiled or anything like that. But you know, it may not be the absolute perfect feeder you've ever seen, but for 20 bucks, it works pretty good. It's going to hold a lot of feed. You don't have to check it all the time. Very easy and, and portable to move around if you have to and works like a charm. <laughs> 